Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. And we're here to use this wireless router to produce a radiation field that we're going to feed through some electromagnetic screening products that people are commonly using. And we're going to read the power levels coming through those products using these two meters. This top one is recording millivolts per meter. The bottom one is recording milliwatts per meter squared. And the first screening material we're going to assess is going to be mylar film, which is also known by its name as space blankets. So our router is now covered up with mylar film. And there wasn't really much of a change. So I'm going to put another layer of mylar film on. So we now have two layers of mylar film on our router. And the change has only been very slight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a grounding cable. I'm going to ground the film. So both of the films are now grounded to a non-electrified ground rod in my back garden. And that's an eight foot long ground rod far away from electrical systems. And there wasn't really much of a change. So let's move on to the next screening product. So our next screening product is aluminum mesh window screening. And I actually use this on my garage where I have transmitting utility meters. And it performs quite well. As you can see, it's actually much better than my law film. So we have, we've significantly reduced our power levels. So let's see what happens when we ground it. Okay, so we're now grounded, and I didn't really see much of a difference. So let's move on to our next grounding screening product, and that's going to be aluminum foil. what aluminum foil gives us. So there's no doubt about it, aluminum foil is actually the best. So let's ground it and let's see what happens. So we're now grounded. I didn't really see much of a change. And that's my conclusion with grounding these shields is that at these high frequencies, whether you ground your shield or not, you don't really seem to gain much of a performance in the shielding and uh, I actually don't ground my shield on my garage because I have a stray voltage problem. Uh, if you connect up your shields to stray voltage sources that come from the utility system then you may actually turn your shield into a transmitter. It may actually make you quite sick. So let's disconnect this grounding connection and see what happens. So it's now disconnected it's pretty much reading about the same, so no real difference. So let's remove it and see what happens. So there we have it. The by far best product for shielding out of the three was the foil. And if you can't access foil, then the aluminum mesh window screening is the next best. And unfortunately, my well film doesn't really seem to do much. So if you're going to do shielding, I would recommend that you stay away from mylar film. Hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.